Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you an update on kind of how I'm feeling regarding the whole potential eviction situation, even though we have that paused right now until April 7th, um, which is our next court date. Um, so obviously we've been doing the stuff that we're supposed to do. We've been talking to different places about rental assistance and like to keep us going in the long run. But every time we go over to my mother-in-law's house, it's like she is constantly harping on us about this situation, which I get it if she wants to make sure that we're doing the stuff that we need to do in order to stay in the house. But like yesterday, we went over there to do laundry and we ended up going to get some groceries with her at Aldi as well. Um, because she offered to buy us groceries, which was super nice of her. Um, so we went over there, we started our laundry, and once we put it in the dryer, we went to Aldi to get groceries. And while the laundry was in the washing machine, um, she was just, like, on us and lecturing us about, like, if you guys aren't gonna do what you need to do, then I'm not gonna help you, because... We were there on Friday, yesterday was Saturday, we were there on Friday because she helped me drop the car off so that we could get an oil change done and then we waited at her house for the oil change to be finished and while we were there she was harping on us about getting everything done that we needed to get done as far as rental assistance and everything and she got upset with me because she asked me if I had called the government center in my area to um, do paperwork or whatever for this new program. And I was trying to explain to her that the program, which this new program is supposed to like help you pay your rent for up to a year. And it's a new program that they've come up with because of the pandemic, because there's so many people in Indiana that need help with rent and food and utility assistance and everything. And this new program is supposed to help you with your rent or mortgage, as well as utilities, if you need assistance with those as well. <clears throat> so anyway, I was trying to explain to her that it doesn't start until like a week from now. And she's like, well, did you call them yesterday? After you left my house? And I was like, no, because... You know, it doesn't even start for a week. And she thinks that it's like a first come first serve thing. But I'm trying to explain to her that the program hasn't even started yet. And that's when she said, well, if you guys aren't going to do the work that you need in order to keep your house, then I'm not going to help you. And my thing is, like, how can you expect me to go fill out paperwork and make appointments to fill out paperwork if the program hasn't even started yet? Like, they don't have the paperwork to do yet, you know? So, like, obviously, I'm not just going to let this keep going. We also have paperwork for another um, place to help us with rent um, if we need that option as well. The only thing with that is I have to print off some papers, and I don't have a printer at my house right now. So, like, we are trying, but I don't think it helps when you are constantly, like, it almost feels like she's putting us down about it at this point, because she is just on our ass constantly about this, which I get it. I get reminding people that they need to make sure that they're getting everything done, but don't sit there and talk about how we're not doing enough, we're not doing what we need to in order to keep the house, like, we are doing everything possible to keep this house. The landlord also called yesterday, not his daughter-in-law who picks up the rent for him, um, which she's the one that we've been dealing with mostly ever since we moved in. Like, we have talked to the actual landlord who owns the house a few times, but for the most part, we've been dealing with her. And so he was just kind of checking up to see if, you know, we had been in contact with any places about rent assistance or, like, if we had... Um, any ideas for stuff that we were going to do to be able to get 
stuff situated before our next court date. And so he was happy with the stuff that we told him that we've been doing. Like we've been trying to get the documentation together for this other rental assistance program. And we did tell him that we found out when the new rental assistance program starts. And as soon as it starts, then we will go in and fill out the paperwork so that we can get him his money and stay in the house. You know, obviously, we don't want to be homeless. We don't want to be evicted. We don't want to lose our place to live. But it doesn't help when you're constantly, like, reminding us about it. Like, on a Saturday afternoon, we come to your house to do laundry. And, you know, we don't want to constantly be reminded about it. We already know that it exists. We know that there's a problem. We're trying to correct it. And it doesn't help. Like, to me, it's just like beating a dead horse. Like, we talked about it on Friday. We talked about it on Saturday. We've talked about it, like, every day since then. She's been texting us, like, every day since we've gotten the eviction notice. She has been texting us, asking us, you know, what we've been doing, um, who we've talked to. Did we do this? Did we do this? Did we do this? Did we do this? And, like, she's made me feel like shit about certain aspects of my life in the past. And it doesn't make me feel any better for her to, you know, constantly be on my ass about, you know, like, I tried to explain to her, I cannot do CNA work anymore because my body deteriorates too quickly doing CNA work. I've tried to explain this to her. I've told her, you know, I can work as a CNA for like three months straight. And it's like, once I hit that three month mark, for some reason, my health just starts declining super rapidly. And I think it's just like the physical torment that I put my body through as a CNA. Because when I do CNA work, I make sure to give it my all like I go above and beyond to care for my patients and make sure that they have everything that they need so the physical stress that my body is under doing that I tried to explain to her I can't do that anymore and she's like well you know the hospital you can go be a CNA at the hospital this place is hiring CNAs and I'm like dude I have a phlebotomy certification I just finished my medical assisting program you know, I just took the national certification test. I don't have the results yet. I've been applying for medical assistant jobs, but like I've heard back from a couple, but you know, I also had an interview with a couple and I haven't really heard anything. So she's like, well, you need to get a job or get on disability. And I'm like, I'm trying. It doesn't just happen like this. It doesn't just happen overnight. And I guess I just kind of wanted to vent a little bit and explain my feelings. Like, it's not that we're not trying. It's not that we don't want to keep a place to live, obviously. I don't think if you asked anybody if they wanted to be homeless, I don't think anybody would say yes. You know, it's just really frustrating. Um, like, constantly having that shove down your throat. Oh, you know, you need to call here. You need to call here. Like I've set reminders in my phone and everything. So I'm on top of it. Like I don't need the reminders. Like I'm dumb or stupid. Like I know what I need to do and I will do it. I just, you know, I can't do anything on the weekend. The government center isn't open. And most of the places that offer rent assistance are not open on the weekends. So it has to be done during the week. And there's only so much I can do on the weekend, you know, like I can research new numbers to call and, you know, all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, I don't, I can't make any phone calls on the weekends. And on the weekends, I would like to just be able to like relax and maybe separate my mind a little bit from the situation so that during the week, while that's all that's on my mind, you know, because that's all that I'm thinking about. Like, <sighs> thank you for listening to my rant. I will end it here. <sighs> Please keep us in your thoughts and prayers. And hopefully we get some good news this week about rental assistance or whatever. So I will talk to you guys again in my next video.